If you're looking to help others this Giving Tuesday by donating to charity, cybersecurity experts said that you need to be careful to avoid getting scammed. Lindsay Stone shares the warning signs to look out for. Unfortunately, on Giving Tuesday and around the holidays, uh, charity scams are going to be going around. The Better Business Bureau reports 40% of giving happens within the last few months of the year. So how do you know your donation is going to the right place? The main red flags would definitely be to verify the organization's name to make sure that the charity is either not being spoofed or a uh, scammer is not using a like name. Shelby Felblinger with the Better Business Bureau says don't give into pressure to give on the spot. And you should also watch for these vague program descriptions so you know exactly what your money is going towards. Charity scams are some of the most difficult scams to verify because there's no real way to track where your money is going. Give yourself some time to do some research on these organizations and um, no reputable organization is going to ask you to donate immediately. That's why experts recommend using tools like Charity Navigator or Give.org, which offer free tools to evaluate thousands of charitable organizations. A legitimate charity, one that is a nonprofit that is uh, where you can give a donation that is tax deductible, uh, will normally display uh, what's called the EIN, the employer identification number, somewhere on their website. Eugene Spafford, a cybersecurity expert at Purdue University, says always ask for a receipt of your donation. He recommends paying with a credit card so you have legal protections. Be sure to read your credit card statement to make sure you recognize all the charges and that they're, they went where they should. And if not, call the com credit card issuer right away. Lindsay Stone, CBS4 News. If you believe you have been the victim of a charity scam, report it to the FTC or your state's attorney general's office. Well, still ahead at noon today, we're sharing a recipe for ribs that are so tender and meaty, they'll practically fall off the bone. We're headed to the Mr. Food Test Kitchen next.